What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I'm sorry. My guiding season was insanely busy, which is good for me, but not good for the channel because I haven't been able to film and edit quite as many videos as I would like. So coming at you a little late is part three or the third day of my trip to Lake Champlain with Dan from Old Town. We were jigging for lake trout. This has been sitting in the can waiting to be edited. I just haven't, I have not had time to sit down and do this. So I'm happy to be able to bring this one to you better late than never. It was uh, full of ups and downs. We caught a bunch more fish. A lot of the same stuff as you saw in the last uh, couple of episodes from that trip. And except um, I hooked into something really big and ended up getting broke off, which was really heartbreaking but caught a lot of fish hope you enjoy this one hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out a lot i really appreciate it and if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you dislike the video give it a thumbs down uh, thanks for the engagement thanks for the watches appreciate all the support enjoy good morning youtube land back on lake champlain this is day three morning just landed a 25 and a half incher. It's been raining all morning, so I haven't started the camera. There's a ton of bait under me. Dan just landed a four or five pound fish. So it looks like the feed bag is beginning to open. I don't know. What the hell do I know? Anyway, we're fishing. We're lake trout fishing again. Fishing shads, fishing the nervous minnow. Just looking for those big fish again. I landed that 15 pounder yesterday, 15-ish pounder, 33 and a half inches. That was, that's my biggest so far. It was fat, really, really fat fish. So I'm gonna see if I can't do that again today. All right, fish on. Feels like a pretty good fish. Probably don't need this hood anymore. Good fish. This is a, this is a big fish. Dan's on, I'm on, doubled up. The lake trout bite just lit up. Not quite as big as I thought, but good fish. Fat fish, really fat fish. Heavy, 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 come here. Yeah, nice fish. Measurement, 
only seven and a quarter. Nice fish. I've been working my tail off to find some active fish. They just shot right off within like five minutes. They went from biting to not biting. I came over on the other side of this reef that we're fishing on it. This is a good fish. On the back side of this reef, we were talking yesterday, Dan and I, about with all this current coming across this reef, is there a chance that it was creating some sort of eddy or That was a fight. I'll get my lamp right side tools. here first. Boy, this fish looks like it was dying maybe. Lamprey. Nice fish though. Let's get a look. from the lamprey or what? It doesn't look like it has been on there too long. Thirty-one and a half. It's 
nice fish. I'm gonna get a picture and we'll try to film the release. Tim to Dan, you copy? <coughs> hey, I'm on the other side of this reef behind you, and there's some really good activity over here. I just landed a 31 and a half. big fish. Broke me off. That was a giant fish. I literally couldn't lift it off the bottom. <sighs> I'm gonna be sick. It's the final evening of our trip. Dan and I just simultaneously caught four or five pound lake trout. Fish number one has been caught and released. Here we go, another one. Oh. Pulled it right out of his mouth. They're picking it up off the bottom so you don't always get primo hook set when they pick it up off the bottom, depending on where they pick it up, how they, how they pick the jig up in their mouth. But man, are they hungry. Oh, there's one. He just ate it. Oh, this is a big fish. Big fish. He just came unbuttoned. Unreal. Uh, that breaks my heart. Brings back traumatic memories of this morning, losing that giant. The fish I lost this morning was so big, I couldn't even lift it off the bottom. They are just whacking away at it down there. Got him. Oh. I don't know if this fish is foul hooked, but if it's not, it is a big, big fish. Oh. We shall see. I'm pretty sure this is a really big fish. I upped my leader this morning from 12 to 15 pound. And it's 
it's only caught a couple of fish, so it shouldn't be too beat up. Oh yeah, this is a this is a big fish. This is definitely a big fish. Seeing more of those spiny water fleas that this lake has become known for this trip than I ever have. I don't usually get them stuck on the jigging line, but I've seen them several times, which is kind of disheartening. It makes me think they're probably getting worse. That's too bad. Invasives just change water bodies so much. This fish is still 50 feet down. Maybe it's hooked sideways, but when I came tight, it already had it in its mouth, so. I'm guessing it's a really big fish. Oh yeah. Oh, can't stop this fish. He just went right back down to the bottom. Holy crap. I'm trying to use both hands. I had him up 50 feet off bottom and he just went right straight back down to the bottom. It's a big fish. I'm glad I didn't order that replica yet. Well, I don't know, it's not in the boat yet. Let's speak. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> same fish. <laughs> back for more. Like one of the fish I caught this morning had a puncture hole from in the top of its mouth from mine and had one on the other side from somebody else's. <laughs> There's got to be 25 fish on the screen right now. Yeah. All right, I got to put some wood to this guy. He's Dan's on. It's mayhem over here. Feel good? Okay. Ah. This is no little guy. And back down he goes. Oh my God. Yeah, he's still 60 feet down. Dan asked about my elbow. I have tendonitis in my elbow and it just seems to get worse by the day because of doing this, fishing all the time. Man, this thing will not tire out. Oh, Dan's fish, good fish. That's six, seven pound fish at least. Eight, eight pounds, nice fish. Yeah, I know. Shot of Dan's over there. Gaining, getting tired, I think. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. It's a nice fish, but he's hooked right in the side. Uh, I was so excited. <laughs> it's close. 
What's that? Yeah, fin clipped. Uh, it's a big fish, but... Oh, and the jig just fell out of it. Can't believe I got it in. Well, let's take a look at this one. It's a nice fish, it's long. Nice one. Big nasty snout. Let me get a measurement and a picture. Get it back in the water. And go down there for its older sister. Thirty-two. Well, yesterday I caught a pile of fish on one of these with no tail. I'm gonna throw it one more time and see if they'll bite it. That's not where I wanted to go. The wind is raising havoc. I mean, we got some showers moving kind of in this direction. So. I have to turn the cameras off. I apologize. Oh, Dan's on again. It's gonna be a shooting match just like last night. At least for now. Yesterday, all I had to do was get it down there. And as soon as it hit the bottom, I think there's one picking at it now. They just ate it. I'd reel in the slack and there would be a fish on it. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. I just landed a 10 pounder. There's one. Ah, some rain moving in. I have to turn the cameras off and put them away temporarily. I didn't bring my raincoat. Did you bring your raincoat? Did you bring your raincoat? I did not. It's raining pretty hard, so I have to turn the cameras off right now. I'm gonna try to get this fish in first, but I can, but I can hear it hitting the water. Thirty. Nice. Holy crap, is it raining hard. <laughs> nice fish. I'd take your picture, but I got my hands full here. Did you get a picture with your GoPro? No, I got me. Oh. Um, I, I'll have this one in the net if you want to hang on to that one. Oh, this is a nice fish too. Get up here. Oh, no, in the net. There you go. Yeah, it's a tank. Alright, 
Oh, this is a fat one. Wow. This fish is 12 pounds all day. Holy fatness. I don't mean that in a derogatory way. Look how fat that thing is. Beast. Get over here and see if I can't get Dan and I a picture. Doubled up again, the Dan and Tim show, putting on a clinic. Oh yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, we're finding a few. It already is. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I just gotta get it down there. I'm, I'm fishing a shad and there's no tail on it. They're eating it. Uh, I think so, yep. Yep. The last time I was here, we did really well with, I did really well with that seven eighths ounce Tika Minnow. Yeah, but the, the hooks are so small, you gotta really, really play them. Cause they'll pull right out. Oh, really? Yep. So there's another spot too out there. Have you fished that out there yet? The end of it? Well, between. Right where it goes between and it comes off. Come on. Oh, I got, it's got one on the GoPro. You can snap one though. Well, it's good to see you, man. We'll miss you next week. Yeah, I know. It's tough. Yeah. Gotta do it. Hey, Storm. Oh, yeah. Is your first uh, time out in Vermont? No, we came last year, yeah. Yeah, Dan, this is Jamie. Uh, Dan works for Old Town. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, we got some insane photos. Of the what did you big fish on the plan? 15. Yeah, and then I broke, I had one break me off this morning. I couldn't even ask him, I couldn't even pull it off, the, I couldn't lift it off the bottom. I had to beg him to take the rod from me because it was prized. He's a captain in Florida. Uh, I can't resist the twitch on the bottom sometimes. We do that in the winter time too. Sometimes just drop it right to the bottom and just twitch it without actually lifting it off. Oh, 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 I got that one. Hey now, hey now. Might be hooked funny or big. <laughs> Holy shit! You never, never know. But he just took some serious line.
Some pretty big head shakes. So one piece of advice I have when fighting lake trout, especially big ones, when you feel them start to shake their head, reel. You, you don't, don't try to lift, just reel. And just crank right down on them and, and dampen those head shakes and let the rod do the job, but you have to reel. Otherwise, they'll shake that lure right out of their mouth. It's one of the only times that I really crank down on a lake trout. Nice fish. Long. Come here. This way, this way, this way. Come on. And Sorry about the microphone noise. Uh, good fish, 28 inches, probably. People asking me where I caught my fish, I usually say right in the mouth. <laughs> Whoa, this guy's got a deformed gill plate, mangled. His gill's all exposed. He's got like no gill plate on that side. That's insane. Break my wrist. Nice. This is a good fish, too. <laughs> okay. All right, going to be here a while. Oh yeah. Big air bubble coming up. Yeah. Look at more of them. That'd be why he just took off, or she. Oh man. <sighs> I'm gonna need to go back to work to recover from this trip. <laughs> oh, I see leader. Lake trout sees kayak. Big fish. That is a big fish. 
gonna inhale that shad. It wasn't coming off. Not a big fish. <laughs> Happy about it either. Oh. 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 Got it. There we go. It's a good one. Keep it in the water and try to get a measurement. Two and a half, same length as the board. Gotta love a 32 incher. Well, that's it. That's our last evening. We um, we probably could have got here earlier. I think if we had arrived earlier, which seems strange to me to get here, get out here at two o'clock in the afternoon to jig lake trout. But those fish, when we got here. They were, the feed bag was on. They were definitely actively feeding. Couldn't get our lures down fast enough. We were messing around taking photos. We had a couple of 30 inch fish at the same time, Dan and I did. So we, we, uh, we played around with those, but we got some nice fish. I got one that was 32 and a half. So that's a half inch bigger than my previous personal best and only a half inch or only an inch under the, the one I caught yesterday. Good trip, good evening. I'd love to have two more evenings to fish, but you know, gotta go back to work and recover. We're gonna come out in the morning, give it another shot for a few hours, see if we can't pick up one or two more, and then hit the road and head back. So this has been an, such a fun trip. This has been one of the highlights of my entire year. Thanks to, thanks to Dan for coming along and Old Town for the support on this trip. We had a really good time and they, they really made that possible. So. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs down if you hate the video. Uh, I appreciate all the engagement regardless. And hopefully wish us luck in the morning. Maybe there'll be one more of these. You never know.